Hey, what's up, beautiful weirdo? So, I'm going to sing, just honest to you, that I've sang before. I kind of didn't like how they turned out. So, I'm going to do it again. And again and again, if I fucking have to, to get it right. See, here's the thing. If you watched... Watch Sage, shut up, computer. Uh-huh, I know. Same fucking thing over and over again. Anyway, if you watched my Why I Call Myself Celtic Dreamer video, you know how insanely passionate about my Irish heritage I am. And there are two songs that mean... I didn't mention them in that video, but there are two songs... Sorry. That I have sang in the past in videos that I not really all that keen on that have to do with that. One is a song called I Do, which is in a language called Gaulish, which far as I know, is a precursor to and dead form of Gaelic. And the other is Kilkelly, Ireland. Now, Kilkelly, Ireland, if I sing this song and I start getting teary-eyed or choked up by the end of it, I want you to understand why. Because this song is very much a true song. Basically, people found letters from an Irish immigrant to the U.S. from his family in Ireland that he never, and I mean never, saw again. And as someone who's half Irish, I have to wonder, did Anybody in my family ever go through that? And even if they didn't, those people who did, my God, could you imagine? Could you imagine your child going off to another country, never seeing them again? just because things are bad in your country. And if you think that's not relevant today, look at the countries that are war-ridden and are just hell to live in. And think about how many people are going through the exact same thing today. Because society can't get their motherfucking shit together. Grow up, society. You fucking spoiled fuck children. Grow up. And for the record, I'm saying that to those in charge because they are fucking spoiled assholes. All of them. Grow the fuck up. You are not gods. You are nothing. Get a clue. Get a conscience. Get a soul. Grow up. Okay? It's fucking seriously. I am so sick of this bullshit, and I am not the only fucking one. Grow up. Every fucking one. Anyway, so, yeah, anyway, first song I'm going to do is a song in a dead language. It's called Gaulish, like I said, the dead form of Gaelic, and as far as I know, a precursor to Gaelic. It was basically a form of Gaelic that was spoken by Irish Vikings, okay? 
it's short, but it's pretty. So, let's sing it. Large love of all, is okay. I do, I do, Like I said, it's short, but it's pretty. I love that song. I do. And I'm willing to bet you're kind of loving it too. And so the next one is a song that literally makes me cry. Hail Kelly Ireland. That's the one where it was letters from an immigrant from family in Ireland that they never saw again and you gotta wonder you just gotta wonder so yeah <clears throat> wish me all luck on this one because I may cry I may cry and no cry shaming if I cry no cry shaming okay all right Kelly Ireland, 18 and 16, my dear and loving son, John. Your good friend, the schoolmaster, Pat Magnamaras, so good as to write these words down. Your brothers have all gone to find work in England. The house is so empty and sad. No crop of potatoes is solely infected compared to half of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. Your mother says now hard to work on the railroad and be sure to come on home soon. <clears throat> Kill Kelly Ireland, 18 and 17, dear and loving son John. Hello to your missus and to your four children. May they grow to be healthy and strong. My goal is God in a wee bit of trouble. I guess that he never will learn. Because of the dampness. There's no time to speak of, and now we have nothing to burn. And Bridget is happy you named the child for her. You know she's got such of her own. You say you found work, but you don't say what kind. Or when will you be coming home? Kill Kelly Island, 18 and 18, did Michael and John, my sons. I'm sorry to give you the very sad news. That your dear old mother passed on. We buried her down at the church at Kilkelly. Your brothers and Bridget were there. You don't have to worry. She died very quickly. 
of well the truth in it and just the wow impact of it but also because my dad is the one who had me listen to it in the first place and he and I basically had the same reaction to it and so you know bonding experience but yeah that's our song and I'm good with that but, um, yeah, holy shit. All right, I hope I did my heritage proud. And 
if you're seeing this video, that means I like the vocals and I'm keeping it, which means I'm deleting the other times that I've tried to do these songs because I didn't like them anyway. But yeah, anyway, I love you all. Mwah. Mwah. My beautiful, beautiful weirdos, my wonderful fellow dreamers. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. You have no idea how much I appreciate you and love you all. Hopefully I will see you all again in the future. Bye-bye.